Stanislaw Law with Motion VFX, and this tutorial is all about using M Channel Clean. Once you've installed M Channel Clean, you find the templates inside the title template tab of Final Cut Pro, then click on M Channel Clean. It's a one stop shop, perfect collection of templates for those putting content together online. Let's start with grabbing an intro template from M Channel Clean. Hover over any of your templates to preview them, then click and drag them right into your timeline. I think that's a little long, so to retime our templates, I'll just drag the edge to its new duration. Next, to make any changes to our template, let's select it in our timeline. Using the on-screen controls, we can change the position, rotation, or even the scale of our templates. To make further changes, we'll need to go into the inspector. To change out our logos, we'll be using drop zones, and inside each of our intro templates, we have a choice between choosing either a logo or putting our text in there. Let's start with the logo, and I'll click on my drop zone well, and in my media tab, I'll select my icon and click apply clip. But I'm going to make some changes to this. First, I'm going to take out some of this text by just deselecting these checkboxes. Each of our templates will have different controls, so be sure to review them all. Next, I'm going to use one of these add-ons to make my intro look a little bit more exciting. Just like before, I'll drag it in and trim it, and let's review. Now I've got a bit of an issue where I have this line inside of my template. So I'm going to use the inspector controls and just make some modifications and that looks a lot better. So just by combining those two templates and making some changes, I've completely made it my own. I think I'll add a social media title and remind my subscribers to subscribe to my channel. I'll place in my timeline. Reviewing this, I think it'll look better in the bottom right corner. What if you're not using YouTube? choose between different platforms and if there's a platform that you're using that isn't listed you can use the custom and a drop zone. I'm gonna leave mine as YouTube for right now. Next I'll add in a title template and drag that in. Now to personalize it inside my inspector I'll just make my text changes but I can also double click right in the canvas and change my text there. In just a couple minutes, that's a pretty good looking intro. I do have a couple problems though. Namely, our characters are cut off here. So I'm gonna select the video clip and I'm actually going to drop this a little bit because it's put on a bit of a widescreen effect. Now they're properly framed up, it's a little hard to read. I think I'll drag in a background and place it underneath my text. That's made it a lot easier to read, but I want my intro to come in just a little after that background. Let's take a look at the final project. Okay, so now let's take a look at using the opener template that's included with M Channel Clean. The opener template is a full animation that you can customize, filling it with different drop zones. If I play this back, we have all these different drop zones that we can use to populate this great looking intro animation. Let's talk about drop zones really quick. So if I click on the drop zone and click my clip, I still need to actually click on the thumbnail to set a frame before I can click apply clip. I don't have to click apply clip right away. In fact, I can keep making changes to the rest of the template. And this is really fast if I have a template like this opener where we have lots of different drop zones to fill with content. Okay, this is my last drop zone, so I'll click apply clip. And now let's check this out. To 
we're back to that situation where we have our gentleman's head cut off. This time it's going to be a little bit different and we're using the drop zone controls to actually pan and scale the drop zone content. Let's turn off this logo and instead use a different logo animation. Back in my title templates, I'll drag a new intro right here and shorten down the duration. Inside the inspector, I'll personalize this. And next, I'll turn off the background opacity. That way it won't completely go black and instead just use the animation of the text. Let's review that and see how it came out. Let's take a look at one more example of mixing some different templates to create a different kind of intro for a travel vlog. By now we've taken a look at a few of the different title templates, but let's check out some of the transitions included with M Channel Clean. Inside here are five different transitions that all you need to do is place them between clips and they create this great looking movement. Check this out. That first one is a bit of a zoom. Let's use a different one between these clips. Let's add a lower third, and this time I'm going to use it as a bit of a preview for this episode. And now next, let's give it a title for this episode. So I'll drag in my title, and we'll go ahead and rename this right away. So this is actually gonna be episode number 16, The Beaches of Bali. Inside the inspector, I'm gonna make changes to my text to make that a little bit bigger. Now that looks good, but I think we can use an add-on and make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna place this right up on top here, and then I'll use the inspector to customize it a little bit. All of the different templates are designed to animate in and out. So right here you can see it animating out. By deselecting that animate out, it'll play throughout the entirety of the template. Let's put our show name here right at the very end of this intro. So I'm gonna drag this in here. And just like before, I'm gonna preview this. So we've got our logo and our text, and I can swap between those, but I think I'm gonna keep my text in here and just change out my text to my title. And then using the inspector controls, I'm gonna to continue to tweak this just to kind of develop my own look. And then I'm gonna scale that logo down to zero. To wrap up this lesson, let's use one of the overlay templates. I think I'll pick this color looks as it's a great way to add some style and color to my projects, almost like a LUT. I can dial in some specific ins and outs for my black and white levels, hue, saturation, and even different color tones. M Channel Clean templates are almost a perfect pack for content creators looking to put together some great looking content. Let's take a look at this last example. So that's a few different ways that you can use M Channel Clean templates in your projects. My name is Stanislaw with Motion VFX. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.